Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Martina and in today's video I have a junk journal with me process in my personal junk journal. I have been trying to kind of catch up on journaling in this little book that I made for myself because I kind of have been neglecting my journal so <clears throat> I find that when I am filming my processes that it motivates me to actually find the time and make some spreads and commemorate some things in my journal. So for today's process I don't actually have any particular story to tell so I just have a few completely random things. I have two cards here. So one this cute little card from my friend Sandy and her daughter uh, that I would love to put in my journal and this uh, gorgeous one is from my sister. I also want to put it in my journal. I have this leaflet from uh, amazing ice cream that me and my boyfriend ordered some time ago. I have this goofy photo of my dog, of my sweet chihuahua Zuzia with a ball. Um, and what I also have some ephemera here. I have this little pouch which is like a pouch from some jewelry that my boyfriend gifted me. The most beautiful jewelry piece uh, with some forget-me-nots. I also have this which was like a little drawing slash painting when I was trying to design my own logo and just making some sketches of it so I thought I could use it in my journal. I have a 10% coupon code uh, from Gallon Leather um, where I got my writing journal and I also have this and I don't remember, I think it's from some cosmetics, uh, but it's like this beautiful rose gold piece that was on the front of the box and it has uh, forget-me-nots and roses and I would love to use it in my journal. I don't know if I will have the opportunity. I don't know if it's not too big, too wide, but I guess we will see. So as you can see, just a hodgepodge of things, nothing nothing really um, specific, no actual stories to tell today, but I think that's, that's okay. I think those little moments are as much worth commemorating as are the bigger ones, and they are going to be as much fun to look back on as those huge ones. <laughs> so, how about I just start here? I don't know, I just picked this page randomly like I said no plan here but I kind of I don't know why that just spoke to me maybe because this color is kind of refre reflected in this iris here oh let's check is this oh my goodness it's so wide but this way oh this way I could have a pocket so I'm thinking, let me grab my trimmer and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attempt to make a pocket out of this. So first I would like to maybe trim here. Mm -hmm. And then through the middle. So I am aligning to this line I can see here. I'm going to use the middle of this as a pocket. Now I can cut off this flap, but it's beautiful. So I am not getting rid of it. I will probably use it as decoration somewhere. And of this flap as well, I can cut it trim it off and so I have a nice window pocket a very pretty one too <laughs> and of course I have the second half for some other time which is great okay is it going to fit here um 
kind of it's going to stick out a little bit but i don't think i mind to be honest i don't think i mind at all now this is going to be sticking out like this and this is not very attractive but maybe we can cover it with something or how about i just go to the end of the signature and decide to do it on this side so that when i close my journal i will have this sticking out and then we can cover the back with something maybe that's how i'm going to do it so let me pick my double-sided tape i think i'm just going to start with attaching this pocket to the page so on one side i'm going to use double-sided tape but on the other side so on this one i am going to use my staples mm -hmm. oops okay like that and on this side i am going to use a stapler and just staple it to the page okay i ran out of no i did not also on the bottom because i don't want things to fall off of my pocket yeah that's great i really, really like it and i think this should be perfect here okay so what else do i want to add on this page or do i just leave it at that and i have you know a piece of ephemera from my own life and i will leave it at that maybe because I don't want to cover this page, so I'm going to leave it and I'm okay with leaving pages with nothing on them in my journal with when I add nothing uh, to them myself because they are just inspiring, they are just pretty, so I think I might want a label though on this side and I will just add a little note about the ice cream and about how awesome it is <laughs> okay so this is from this like polish company or i think it's actually a <coughs> company oops these are not stickers <laughs> uh from krakow so this is um a local ice cream little company and they have the most amazing flavors so on this one we've had some waffles with nutella we've had uh, we've had raffaello which is like coconut and we've also had uh, waffles with strawberry jam <laughs> so that's if that doesn't sound good to you i don't know i don't know why i have no idea why <laughs> all right so i want to add some flowers so i have this huge this huge maybe these a sticker book from the happy planner and it's full of flower stickers so it's my favorite thing ever I grabbed it when I saw it I needed to save some money it was not a cheap one but it's going to last me for ages I am quite certain <laughs> okay how about this I'm just I'm wondering because I don't know if these clear stickers are going to be visible but I am tempted to try with this one I are going to be visible on the background is what I mean but I'm thinking how about like that that's so cute so cute 
and so it's like a little surprise when you take this out and I think I could have one more just to tie things together maybe maybe this one kind of here as well okay and now I will just add a little note mm, where's my pen where is my favorite pen? It's here, okay. So let me just journal a little. Sorry for being so quiet, but I really can't um, write and speak at the same time, especially not in English. Um, okay, so just a little bit about these ice creams and how they now deliver them they started during uh, started in 2020 and now they are just <clears throat> delivering ice cream to your doorstep pretty much okay how about i utilize this here and i was thinking that i would like to actually have these cards kind of uh, kind of uh, on the um, on the page I'm sorry I'm losing my train I think I'm a little bit tired <laughs> uh, so I would like the card to be glued on the page and then I could use this envelope for something else which is great I love adding envelopes and pockets to my journals so I could have it here but then again we have this issue with it sticking out on this side so how about I add it here and this is such a pretty book page another one that I'm not willing to cover up and that's completely fine by me so I am going to do how the do it the way I said, so I'm just going to use some double-sided tape. Stick this card directly to my journal so I can always have it here. And do I have any... Maybe like something, you know, something that would make it even a little bit more interesting. And this is sticking out. It is, but not too bad. <laughs> so how about I have this little doily. This is from Johannes, um, who is little bindy uh, or little bindi on Etsy, from her hand painted or hand drawn doilies. And I really love them. She has beautiful patterns and really pretty colors. Okay, and here we go. So I think I feel like because I don't have a, a story to tell, I'm not going to be making like one double spread or something like this as I would probably usually do, but I am going to rather utilize a few spreads. Now this is sticking out quite a bit, but I don't mind it at all. I love things sticking out of my journal to be honest so yeah so here it is and what else can we use maybe some flower label something that would look nice here and that I could just write a little note about what's inside of this card Mm 
Okay, this is from my sister. <laughs> and now I'm thinking, because this is sticking out like that, how about we do something about it and actually kind of use, use this opportunity to add something to here. And what could it be? I'm just looking. We have this chiffon ribbon, which kind of matches this beautifully. So how about I take a piece of this ribbon Mm, if I can find the end of it. Okay, here it is. So I would take a, a piece and I would also take a piece of my gold leaf trim and maybe I could staple them together <coughs> to the front of this card and of course I'm going to have to be careful to go through the front only i don't want to staple through the whole card because of course i would not be able to open it but i'm thinking this will just add just a little touch of decoration here come on, come on. okay mm -hmm. And I think I want to trim it here. Now let's see how it is. How sweet is this sticking out of the journal like that? So this is really nice. I love to have it here. Now because I don't want to cover the flowers, but maybe I could add something more here. Let me see. Let me just see what I have. So I have Sandy's card as well, which is so cute. <clears throat> I could add it here kind of the same way. So we would have two cards. Or I also have this. Although this is like the, this is kind of brown. So maybe I would leave it for a more vintage page, but I should also have, let me check. Let me quickly check here, yes. So I also have this, which is, it was inside here. This is a, like an advertisement card for this particular collection of the jewelry. It says Kwiatunoce, which is like uh, blooms of the night or flowers of the night, something like that. And so I would love to have it here and I would love to be able to read it. So what I'm thinking, how can I attach it so that I can still read it? How about this? Ooh, we're just with washi tape, so I still have the beautiful card. But I will also, yes, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so just let me decide on the washi tape, perhaps this gold this gold one but isn't this card just the most beautiful i can't like you guys know or probably know that i love me some um forget me not so this card and this jewelry is just a treasure <clears throat> that's one of the things that i love about my boyfriend is how he always considers the gifts he gives me and he you know he does his research and he i i know that they are for me if that makes sense of course they are for me but that he had me in mind when when he was purchasing them okay so i am going to add another little label here and this one matches perfectly <clears throat> and I am going to say from Derek. Awesome, I love it. Now I do want to add something up there. So I'm actually thinking some more of this trim. 
but just the trim this time without the chiffon ribbon so sorry for turning it around like that but it makes it so much easier for me to position everything when I have it closer to me okay I need to it's challenging because it's okay now I've run out of staples but I have some ready here So I'm filming this on on a Friday. I'm not sure when you guys are going to see it, but tell me how your week is going or how your weekend weekend is going or do you have any weekend plans? Let's chat about it in the comments. Isn't this just lovely? I think I'm going to add a little label like this and add some journaling on this side because it will not cover too much of the image but i mean it just looks like it belongs <laughs> and oh this this edge here doesn't it just beg for the trim oh, i think it does let's do this let us do this so this weekend when i'm filming this and i'm filming a little bit ahead um do we have any plans so tomorrow on saturday it's supposed to be a really beautiful weather but hopefully not too hot so maybe we will do some activity and also uh, I am now tutoring my boyfriend uh, like I'm giving him English lessons and because he wants to improve his his English and so we have lessons on Wednesdays Saturdays and uh, Sundays if I remember correctly three times a week it is uh, and yeah, it's going great. He's really, he really learns quickly. So it's, it's a pleasure and it's so fun to just talk to him in English and have conversations. And English is just such an important language to know nowadays. So I am forever envious of those of you who have been born with the ability to speak English or have been born in an English-speaking country because I suppose that does make things a little bit easier but I think I I don't know I love English so much I think it's a beautiful language oops this one is too big no uh, I think it's a beautiful language. I think it's a very comfortable language. I love how it sounds. I love how it can convey my thoughts, even though it's, of course, a second language for me. So, yeah, I really want him to know it, too. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for some stickers here on the side. But perhaps I can find something in this sticker book. And... We have some little banners, but I think they are just for holidays. Yeah. So yes, I definitely love English and I'm happy he wants to learn. And he is also... Like, he can talk in English. He really can. So it's not like we're starting from scratch or anything. Mm, I don't even know you guys what I'm looking for here, but 
I'm just looking for some small embellishment, I suppose. Oh, maybe this U Rock, because you know they do, both of them. So, oh yeah, and on Sunday is my boyfriend's nephew's uh, nieces. I'm sorry, it's my boyfriend's nieces' baptism. So we are going to his side, sort of, and we are going to meet with his family and go to church and then probably spend some time there as well. It's not far away. But can I? I don't know what I'm looking. What are you looking for, Martina? What do you want? I don't know. Let me just add a little note. Okay, now I think I'm just going to maybe add a little border here with my pen just to kind of bind it all together and yeah, this is this page. I think it's so pretty, mostly because the ephemera is so pretty. <laughs> So there is not much that I did here and actually how about I just use this photo of my doggo and maybe I add this on the back or something like that here. Now it would of course be kind of like Kind of the same situation where we it's just a flip out or tip in I think is the correct term for those little interactive elements that we add to the journals to our journals tip ins mm -hmm. and now maybe I will just add some flower <laughs> Some flower on the bag. I want you guys to see, but I don't think I have enough space here. So these stickers are so so stunning. Maybe I have one that says something that matches my love for this this little puppy. Mm. Live and love. I don't know if it would make sense, but does this one say wherever life plants you bloom with grace, always stay humble and kind? Where she's neither, <laughs> but that's how I love. That's why I love her. And that's how I love her. Fabulous. I think. Fabulous as just the way to describe her. <laughs> and then a little flower because why not? You can't have too many flowers. Okay. Okay, so I think we are pretty much done, but because I am kind of like OCD with not leaving any space blank, I think I want some washi tape up there. And so I have this one with the heart, but I would like something to pair it with. Do I have, oh, I have something like this. I think it could work. 
yeah I just I don't know what it is I love filling pretty much every single space in my spreads but yeah that's just how it is so I'm not fighting it I'm just rolling with it okay where is the end of this washi tape okay here it is Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it looks nice I think it ties in with the pink from the flowers here and we also have this okay so a very quick process today and thank you so much guys for doing this to me for crafting with me or for journaling with me I am so happy that I am finally back at filling my journals with memories and uh, with all sorts of memoranda so here is just a close-up on what we've done so we have the leaf trim we have just a little bit of journaling in this label here and here we have kind of layers upon layers of uh, things so we have this little card that flips out and then of course this opens and this is a card that I got from my sister and this is from my boyfriend some washi tape this is lovely I think and the other thing we've done is this cute pocket um, when we pull this off we have some flowers visible and a little bit of journaling and just a cute photo totally random photo of Zuzia and uh, just a couple of stickers on the back of it so thank you so much guys i love how these turned out and um i hope you do too and yeah have a wonderful day and i will speak to you very very soon in the next one bye